right, Senator Di Natale is entitled to be heard in silence. Senator Di Natale. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, my question is for the Minister representing the Prime Minister, Senator Conroy. And I'm asking this question on behalf of ALSAE, an independent community organisation aiming to revitalise participation in Australian democracy. And our democracy could sure do with some revitalisation at the moment. The ALSAE People's Question is voted on by the Australian public. Ask the question. Uh, the ALSAE People's Question is voted on by the public on the ALSAE uh, website. And the top rated question chosen was uh, Minister. Uh, Australia's scheduling of illicit drugs is based on historical precedent rather Order. than any— Order. Senator Di Natale, resume your seat. Now, when there's silence on my left, we'll proceed. Senator Di Natale. Uh, Minister, Australia's scheduling of illicit drugs is based on historical precedent rather than any objective measure of harm, and evidence shows some illegal drugs are less harmful than alcohol to users and society, with most harm a direct result of their illicit status. Uh, we seem set to repeat the same mistakes in our approach to synthetic drugs. So the question is, what's Australia doing to address this unscientific classification of drugs and the, ne and the resulting unnecessary harm? Order. Order. When, there's, when there's silence, on my left, Minister representing the Prime Minister, Senator Conroy. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, listen, uh, could I thank the Senator for his question. Uh, Mr. President, illicit drug use is a high-risk activity and has been proved to contribute to social, economic, and personal harms. New psychoactive substances are emerging that pose a serious risk to both consumers and the broader community because little is known about their short or long-term health effects and the exact ingredients are also often unknown. The response of all Australian governments to illicit drugs is focused on implementing the National Drug Strategy 2010 to 2015, which provides a framework for action on alcohol, tobacco and other drugs guided by the principle of harm minimisation. The strategy is aimed at improving the health, social and economic outcomes for Australians by preventing the uptake of harmful drug use and reducing the harmful effects of illicit and illicit drugs in our society. The need to control certain drugs is also recognised at the international level, and the Australian Government has ratified a number of international agreements that require the criminalisation of these drugs. Senator Di Natale. Um, supplementary question also rated highly by the public on the RSA website. Uh, Minister, given that law enforcement policies are harming more people than the drugs themselves in many instances and often result in more crime, with recent media reports demonstrating that the illicit drug market is now conservatively estimated at $7 billion per annum. Uh, when will this government change its, currently, uh, its current approach, which is uh, expensive and has failed in terms of targeting end users, and begin treating this as a health issue? Order. Order the Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, the government remains strongly committed to protecting the public from the health and safety risks associated with drug use balancing health responses with effective law enforcement. The response, as I've mentioned, of all Australian governments to illicit drugs is focused on implementing the National Drug Strategy 2010-2015, which, as I've also said, provides a framework for action on alcohol, tobacco and other drugs guided by the principle of harm minimisation and which has been recognised as a world-leading initiative to combine both health and law enforcement responses. Senator Di Natale. Thank you, uh, Mr President. Final supplementary question asked by the users of our say. Uh, recently, a New South Wales parliamentary report recommended allowing the medical use of cannabis under certain circumstances. Uh, would the federal government support a change to the illicit drug classification of cannabis to allow it to be tested and developed for medical use? The minister. 
Uh, Mr. President, uh, cannabis is a depressant drug which slows activity in the central nervous system and has been linked to a number of me mental illnesses, including depression, anxiety and psychosis. The Australian government does not support the legalisation of cannabis, and there is no consideration being given to changing its current status as a prohibited drug under Australian law. Senator Birmingham. Uh, thanks, Mr.